Hi everyone, it's Mackenzie Deacons again, and today I'm going to show you how I edit a maternity session, and I'm just going to talk a little bit about composition and, um, you know, posing and stuff when it comes to maternity sessions. So, first of all, I wanted to show you, I opened up my maternity, this maternity session, and I took around 500 images, but then I've culled it down to about 152. So, um, this is the first shot, this is on a cute little river by my town, Provo River, and it's actually a new spot. I've never shot there before, but I tried something new, and that's what I love about it is that I went out of my comfort zone and I pushed myself and I went to a new spot, which I totally love and it totally worked out. So I, I culled through all of my images in library mode, and now I'm going to go to the develop module, and I'm going to use my presets. So Mackenzie's Lightroom presets can be purchased at themackenziebag.com. They are absolutely gorgeous, easy to use. And for these first set, this first set right here, um, most most of these shots are in this exact same scenario because I didn't want she was um, she's pregnant and I didn't want her to be like wandering around on the rocks and stuff. So um, anyway, so the, this uh, this one I'm using is landscape sunset, and this is the landscape. This one is cool, so it's going to be a little bit cool. You can see over here on the left side of the navigator, you'll see the preview. So I'm going to click on landscape sunset cool. And then I'm going to just fine tune it a little bit more over here. So I'm, I want it a little bit more warm and then maybe bring down the blacks a little bit, just give it a little bit more depth. Um, and then what, what the landscape sunset one, it takes a little bit of clarity out. So I'm going to add a little bit more back in just to kind of look at it. And then um, sometimes I'll just go full screen just to look at it, make sure I like it. Um, it does take a lot of the saturation out of it. Honestly, like I'm not a huge fan of like the fall colors, but it does, my presets do take a lot of yellow out, so if you need to add the yellow back in, you can come down here into this color, um, the color, what is it called? Um, yeah, color panel over here, and bring the yellows back in. So then I've got all of those edited right there, and then I come to the end of this little series, and shift, see I have already come, I've already edited this one because I was excited. Usually when I call through I'm like, ooh I want to edit one really quick. So now that I remember that, I'm going to come over here and shift click, ooh and I edited that one too and I actually posted that. So that one is edited slightly different than this one. This one has a little less color and I was just kind of messing around with them. This one has obviously a lot more yellow in it, so or a lot more warmth I brought into it up in the white balance, but I think I like this one a little bit better. So what I'm going to do is go shift, so I'm going to press the shift, scroll over here, and then click, and then sync them. And then this brings up this dialog box that shows us what we're going to sync. And remember, we want to keep the spot removal and the crop off so that in case, you know, we have any weird crops, it's not going to synchronize that on the rest of the image, or the rest of our images. So now we go synchronize. And then that should synchronize all of these all of these together. Now, because they were all taken at around the same time and around in the exact same spot, shoot my you know my camera's kind of shooting the exact same angle. They all should be very fairly consistent um, in in their editing. There, I mean, obviously, I can go back in and like bring maybe the blacks up if I want it a little bit brighter, bring the exposure up. So I, I usually come back through and edit each individual one. Now I want to go to the next series. So this is all shot in the same kind of location over here. They brought their cute little puppy. Is that the cutest thing ever? I just want to gobble, gobble him, her? I think it was her. Anyway, so then we chose, so, you know, different, okay, let me go through poses really quick. So what I want to do is when I was posing her, um, maternity shoots, you want to showcase their tummy. So a lot of times you, I mean, obviously in, normal land you never want a woman to look bigger than they are but in maternity land you want their tummy to look very round and cute and sh and then hiding the things that maybe did you don't want to to showcase so i love walking pictures and i made sure that she held her dress up so you look she looked very dainty and put her hand underneath her belly and then i had her look away and the reason i had her look away is um when she looked for her usually pregnant women um, now she doesn't, she, she is just like the stunner, a stunner of a pregnant woman, but usually, you know, we gain weight in our faces or in our arms and stuff. So I try to minimize, uh, face angles by having her look down to show more. See when she smiles, her face looks a little, a little round there. And so I had her like look off to the side and that shows that cute apple on her cheek. 
And so I wanted, I mean, honestly, pregnant women just want to look 100% super gorgeous all the time, especially in their pictures. They're not going to feel like super, you know, hot and sexy and slim. But in this shot, this is one of my favorites because it is a profile shot. And you can see she's just hands under her belly, very simplistic, but it's a profile shot. And this other one, you can see I have her her leg down. But I was like, no, I'm not. it's not showcasing her tummy enough. So I had her turn profile and then pop her left knee forward so that you can see more of that dimension on her tummy. Okay, and then now that was that last one. So we can come over here and shift click and then synchronize these ones and you can see this cute puppy. Oh, and then this one, I was gonna show you guys. So this shot, see how her hair kind of fell forward in this shot? Oh my gosh, this is so messed up. <gasps> okay, we'll just like bring that down. Okay, we'll bring up the exposure, bring it down that magenta a little bit. Anyway, I'll come back and correct these in a second, but I wanted to show you how I had this. The, the hair was off of her shoulder here, and I noticed it and I was like, ooh, it's not like super flattering. So I grabbed her hair and used it as like a drape and put it over her shoulder in these ones right here. As you can tell right there, see? And I'm gonna come back in and fix all this color because this is a little messed up right there. <laughs> anyway, now I'm not like, a, I'm not a maternity photographer by per se. I'm a wedding photographer specially, specializing in wedding photography. But in this, in these shots, um, I mean, the guy behind is cute because he's holding her her belly, but it just always looks so forced. So I had them like her kind of look back at him and and laugh and stuff and make him giggle. And then, you know, it, it's just a little tricky. You want to make sure that they. So when I was doing it, I was trying everything. I was making sure that I wasn't just uh, not trying things. But then I went back to like the things that I know work for engagement couples, and I ended up liking that the best like just having her showcase her tummy still but he looks very flattered or flattering in that pose and stuff um okay and then like these ones like i just love like the cuddles and stuff just trying to make it look more candid okay so then we went to utah lake which is just around the corner from this location and it's not like the most aesthetically pleasing like lake but the way that i shoot it, it makes it look absolutely gorgeous so when i first started shooting you can see these shots right here they're backlit and they're not the sun is not strong enough to bounce back up into their face so i recognized that and i was like gosh i'm not like loving this so then you can see right here i turn them so that their faces are towards the sunset because the a cloud had gone over the sun so the sun hadn't actually set yet and so the the sun is through a cloud diffused light onto their face illuminating it really beautifully so now i'm going to come over here on my presets here and i'm going to pr and honestly sometimes i just come down here and just see the you know what's it going like this this full uh half sun half shade that usually gives me a little more of a less contrasted image but I, honestly it takes a lot of the fun depth out of it but um yeah like i said i just come over here and kind of see what i like shady evening um i like that one i'm gonna bring in the blacks a little bit and pull down the white balance so that it's not so warm and then i don't like right here how i've got some of this vignette going on so i'm gonna come down here to my um profile here and for my lens and just bring the vignette down so that i get some more depth in these corners and then i want to bring up the exposure a little bit okay I think that oh I think that looks great <laughs> no okay and then again shift click and this is the the end of that little series right there um, in that lighting scenario and then so uh, so I got some great close-ups of them because I wanted to make sure that they left with some great pictures of the two of them together the, the, them and their dog and then a lot of her just romantic beautiful shots out with her, her cute belly just remembering how how her body looked because it, it's definitely gonna change in a little bit um, okay, so this this one is just gonna be fun. Like I think usually I use like a la the landscape sunset shot. It warms it up a little bit, and it just yeah, it gives some clarity and stuff to her dress. Now, if you want more of a sun a silhouette shot, you just bring down the exposure. If you want the skin correctly more exposed and more of a light and airy look, you just bring the exposure up a little bit more. If you do bring the exposure up, I would suggest bringing the blacks down just to, like I said, give more contrast to that image. And this is again your own personal style. This is how you specifically will edit your images. This is just how I edit my images. Um, and now right here, I just brought that a little bit of that tint up. I could tell that there was some green cast there. So then you go shift click and sync. 
And again, when I was looking at her body as she walked, I mean, this one is cute and darling, but it's not really showing off her tummy as much. So then I just went back to what I know works. And the second she turned that way, I was like, yes, this is the money shot, right? The only thing is right here, I saw this little spot right here, this hair right there that I didn't wasn't super a fan of. So I think I moved it. Usually when I'm editing, I'm always like, Mackenzie, why didn't you see that? And then I move something right, right afterwards. So it's kind of funny how I kind of have conversations with myself. But what I love is I love this shot. It's actually focused more in this area. I just wanted it to look more like light and ethereal and just like romantic. Rom romantic. Um, Okay, so yeah, I have her hand up in there, up there, and I mean, I don't know if she was incredibly comfortable with this pose, but what happens is you, you push people to their limits, and then they can always delete these images later. If they don't look like something they'd like, then they can just delete them later. But in this instance, I, I think she just didn't have enough, maybe, confidence to know that she could pose like that, so pushing her and telling her to do it, it made her do it. So you can see in these shots here, I definitely underexposed. I think I was going for more of a sunset look, or I mean a silhouette look. And I wanted some symmetry to go on here. Yeah, this is rad. Because um, in my head, I always shoot, every session I shoot, I always try to find one image that's going to be just like a sh uh, just delicious for my Instagram feed. And I loved the composition here. I loved the symmetry with this mountain and then sticking her right in the middle. And then I even imagined cropping it into a square and how that would look. I mean that would look so good on my Instagram feed. Um, now I'm, I am going to play around with like a, a couple of these because I feel like that that one just isn't calling the name. But yeah like these are just really fun to, to mess with and just play around with. See, tweak a little bit. Okay let's do the landscapes. Ugh, landscape sunset again. See if you like that one. Yeah, that's pretty. I do like, I, I don't know, honestly, like sometimes with these artistic ones, I will go through, pull out my most favorite one, and then just really sit there and hone in on it. Oh, I think this was one I really liked. Now you can see my horizon line isn't like super straight. So you go over here into this um, crop and straighten tool and click on the angle tool here and then click here and drag and it'll create this line and you just find a hard line, a horizon line or a building line and then let go and, and then press enter and that will correct it. So that's great for buildings, um, architecture, structures or, or landscapes to make sure that you've got that great line and it was easy peasy to do. Um, and then I went, yeah, so then we had those great shots and then I love walking shots. I loved how much hair she had so I just kind of like had her keep brushing her hair, playing with her hair and loved it, loved it. And then I wanted to get some good belly shots, so I just got some close-up belly shots. And again, like, I mean, look at these purples, these blues, like, they're just so nummy. And then shift, click here again, going through these. And you can see how my composition is changing. I'm trying to, um, you know, obviously, like, this, is, this isn't this is a shot that you would traditionally see. But what I love is that it's just, and so I'm bringing the exposure up a little bit and bringing the warmth down. But, um, you know, it's showing her wedding ring, it's showing her beautiful jawline and her great apple and her eye and her stunning hair and her cute belly, which is like the really the whole reason we're here, right? And I love the composition here. Keeping things in the rule of thirds off to the center makes things more interesting and more engaging. So, um, for example, like these shots over here, um, I knew, obviously I'm not focused on them on purpose. So I wanted to just, I was just playing around. I always push myself, making sure that you're always looking at things in a different way and trying something new. And the worst thing that can happen is you delete it and you've wasted a millisecond of time. So again, walking shots across this little peninsula. She was fine getting her feet wet, but he, I mean, he had like dress shoes on. So we found this cute little peninsula that they could walk on. And, and I was just paying attention to see like what worked because I needed her to still have that shape. So I made sure that this knee right here is popped. And then I had them hold hands near her belly so that it brought in her dress a little bit so you can see that dimension in her tummy. And then as she walked, I made sure that her hand was under her tummy as she walked so you could still see her cute belly. And then, you know, and then here, I mean, I'm telling them, I'm like, now look over at him, now look down, now keep walking, now love and happiness, la la la. I'm always consistently talking and directing my clients as all of this is happening. And it just makes it more fun. And then, yeah, just some of these candidates as, as the end. And then I thought this is cute. He was helping her put her boots back on. <laughs> okay. Anyway, so that's just kind of like a basic little tutorial on how to use Mackenzie's Lightroom presets uh, while editing a maternity session and just kind of going over some simplistic direction ideas and composition ideas. 
So that's all for today. Be sure to subscribe to my channel so that you can get notified every time I uh, post a new video. And yeah, thanks so much, everyone. See you later. Bye.